onto this bike or you'll go flying off the back of it. <laughs> All right, what is up guys? Jerry Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. The Street Fighter's back, baby. Woo! We're gonna be doing uh, rear sets on this bad boy, heading down to Santa Barbara Ducati. And uh, don't forget, you can enter to win this bike along with our Panigale V2. Uh, you can support on patreon.com slash camp easy customs always the first link in the description below People keep asking me the The time frame the goal is to finish the street uh, finish the V2 Pinagali this month in January Finish the Street Fighter uh, In February and then give them both away in March There is some variability in that depending on parts if we do get the full carbon from full six for this bike It's probably gonna bump that all out of another month but, um, you know, I want these builds to be perfect. The whole point of these projects is to give people dream motorcycles, not just bolt-on builds. So, um, you know, that's always been the goal of this project. So, yeah, that's what's going on. It's 70 degrees here in Southern California. We are in full-on lockdown mode, except for work. Luckily, I am working. And, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So, sit back, guys, relax, and enjoy the video. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. I miss this freaking bike, man. It just sounds so good. It's so, it has so much power, man. My God, and the brakes are so good. I can't wait to get the RCS Masters on the V2 because the V2 brakes are like nowhere close. That's one, look at that, one little finger and it's just, and it was not like that until we did the Masters, so. Yeah, this thing is, oh, this thing is a thing of beauty, dude. Imagine if we get this thing to be full carbon, how sick that's gonna be. It'd be like the world's first full carbon Street Fighter. It'd be like basically a Super Legera Street Fighter V4. First in the world. Oh man, that's what I want. That's what we're aiming for. All right, so we have arrived. We we're all just sitting here admiring the beauty that is the Street Fighter. If we can get carbon for this thing, guys, look at the freaking, look at the colors right there. So gorgeous. And then I was looking over here and I was like, look at these badass, there's an 11.99, a 12.99. I was like, wait a minute, this looks familiar. That's Corey's bike, guys. There's the mechanics bike. If you're wondering what he rides, 12.99. What did you do to this? You said you changed the gearing? Yeah. So. What is the gearing on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Went up to a 44. A 44 in the back? Yep, in okay. The back. And what's the front? And I put a 15 in the front. <laughs> 15, 44. <laughs> so it does so it. that's all for like with instant five, power yeah, and torque, huh? With a 520 chain. Yeah. It's shockingly it's... rideable still. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So GP you shift. You've done some engine work to it? Yeah. So I have changed. Can we cams. hear what it sounds like? Do you yeah, have the, for sure. the key? Put, yeah. You change the cams? Yeah. What does that, what does that do? Uh, I haven't dynoed it, but someone told me it would be like five horsepower. Five or so? To the yeah. wheel, so that's a lot. Yeah. That's like 12 or yeah. more at the crank. I mean, anything to get the motor turning. Yeah. yeah. Let's hear what it sounds like. Yeah, so that has that has some balls to it. Yeah. <laughs> it spins up so fast too. It's a track bike, but I like to call it the most usable Panago. The most usable? It's sick, dude. I like it. And that's smart. How does the heat shielding on the exhaust work? Does that help? Oh, it's really good. It yeah. helps? Yeah. You can actually sit on the seat. There you go. That's always good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Um, all right, let me bust out the rear sets. We'll show you guys what we're doing today to this bad boy. All right, so no Christina today, unfortunately. She's busy working, so you're left with just us, the boys, the sausage fest today. Um, so here's what we're doing for the parts today. Um, we're doing um, rear sets from Duca Bike that we got through Manny at Moto Million. Again, if you guys are interested, you can always, uh, we try to put links for all the parts in the description below, or you can just go to motomillion.com and anything that you buy, you can just use my code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money. And I appreciate everybody who does do that. And um, you know, send me messages, show me what you're buying on Instagram. It's just at Jared Campisi. Um, I love to see what you guys are doing to your bikes too. So uh, anyway, this is what we're doing. Uh, I love these Duca Bike rear sets. We've used them a bunch of 
of times on a bunch of different bikes. Um, they're aluminum, they're absolutely gorgeous, they're anodized black, and actually what we did, uh, look at all the look at all the adjustment you have on these things, dude. Like so many different places you can put them. It's cool, Manny included Loctite in here for us. Um, it's got the brake switch it comes with, all of the hardware that you need, and then we actually wanted to do something a little bit different, so we went with red accents for the brake and shift levers, and then we also got the Duca Bike carbon heel guard, which is gonna match uh, the satin carbon on the rest of the bike. So that's what we're doing today. It's probably gonna take a little bit of time. You gotta wanna be careful, make sure you do these right. So uh, let's get started. It was funny, Corey was reading through the directions and like I was looking at this too and like my mind just goes like blah 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 blah. <laughs> Corey's like, okay, yeah, cool, I got it. I know what we need to do now. I'm like, okay, glad that made sense to you. So he just laid everything out. He's gonna do the shifter side first. He already started uh, disassembly. One nice thing about the Street Fighter, there's no fairings that we have to remove, which is nice. It's just like a little bit extra steps we don't have to take. But um, I was actually telling him I was like, is this a freaking zip tie right here? Like, come, came from the factory? Like, they couldn't figure out a better thing to do there? They're just like, you know what? Hey, Mario, zip tie that bitch. <laughs> All right, so this uh, left side is off. This is the basically the giant assembly they use um, for the rear set on this side. And then this is pretty much replacing that whole piece, correct? Corey, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna go together in different, but look at all that adjustment you're gonna have. And it actually looks really, really nice. It's a shame that this wasn't black too, but at least, it, like look at that. It looks so cool next to the chain and the swing arm and stuff. Okay, I get a little like, a bit excited about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so while we're at it right here, I decided uh, we don't need the chain adjustment numbers on the side of this. Any Ducati dealer that you take this to will have this information, and I just cannot stand stickers on the bikes maybe i'll just take a photo of it or put it on a piece of cardboard to include with the new owner if they want it but i can't stand stickers so that's gotta go so satisfying look at that look how much cleaner that is that's beautiful and i do think we have some carbon coming for swing arm uh protection as well um with the other accent pieces and stuff like that so yeah, this is gonna look really good though with the new rear sets. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, boys, we got a measuring tape out. Now it's really fucking yeah. official in here. <laughs> 15, 15 so we're measuring, yeah, basically where the stock height was because I always like to put them at stock height because I just get used to where they are and it's super comfortable for me uh, personally. Right so right around 15 inches. Okay, cool. That's about what I'm working with too. So that's perfect. <laughs> oh, <Z. laughs> so. Where is that gonna put it? I was thinking the lowest position probably, right? Is that what it is? Yep, so there it is, perfect. And then if you if you guys are riding this and you want, you're want you taking it to the track and you want more clearance because you're a fucking Rossi, there you go. Boom, bump it up, give yourself some hip cramps, you're gonna be good to go. Yeah, yeah, even more, that's freaking ridiculous. So yeah, we're gonna keep it down. Yeah, look at all that freaking adjustment, guys. You can do anything you want with these. That's amazing, and look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. Black. <laughs> Make it black. When in doubt, go black. Corey just walked over here with like a ray gun from Marvel. <laughs> Look at that thing. He's heating this up, what, because of the Loctite? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. We've, we've almost broken tools in our freaking hands trying to get stuff loose. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know why, it's just fun to use fire too. Look at this thing. How cool is this? Doesn't that look like a gun? Snap on, baby. Corey, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, so officially attach the uh, rear set there. That actually looks really cool. It's a really cool looking yeah. angle, the way that they did that with the V4 in there. And then of course he loctated all these bolts down. There will be a specific torque value for it. I, I believe they provide that, Duca Bike normally does yeah. in the uh, pamphlet. So yeah, that's, that's coming together. He also attached the shift lever which is super cool look at that looks like a piece of art just hanging down there you can see the beautiful milling in there i don't know if it comes across on camera let me see there you go you can see that how cool is that anodized aluminum duca bike special parts that's what we like okay so one thing corey noticed right away uh using the regular shifter uh what is that length yeah it's not long enough to where they have it yeah so we're gonna have to add some length to this you think that one will be the right one 
seems just about right. And then you do have a little bit of adjustment, right, yeah. in there? Yeah. That's the whole point of it? Yeah. yeah. So we'll try that and then see if we get this in the right spot. Yeah, so they actually show you this on the direction as well. They provided, was there two different lengths? There you go. A mini one, which is the six. Oh no, this is a longer that's one, right? That's the longer one. Yeah, the mini one's right here, the one that we were just showing you. That's the number six and the number seven. They show you if you're all the way down and back, then you want the longest one. And then as you move up and forward, obviously you go to the shorter one. So there you go, we're gonna use that guy right there. All right, so he attached the uh, long little section extension. there. Yeah, the extension. Wish it, they had one of those for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's beside the point. And then he, he can twist it to get the uh, micro adjustment and then that's about right where it needs to be, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at that, that's gonna look so cool. All right, sweet. All right, so this side is officially done. She works and it looks freaking awesome. Uh, we haven't put the heel guard on yet because they wanted us to reuse the stock bolts, which were silver, and Corey said he just can't let that stand. So he's actually gonna paint all the stock bolts for us. Painting booth. There you go. <laughs> and then he started taking apart this side. So that's really cool. So we'll have black bolts in there that match everything. And uh, God, this is gonna look so good. That was like one of the last things on the bike that was kind of driving me nuts. So I think this is really gonna make it look better. Here we go, guys. Going that extra step for you. Ducati official spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> you putting any more coats on there or that's Try it? On. I think that's looks looks be, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. So we'll let those dry and then they'll be good for the heel guards. All right, so we started the disassembly process here. Um, right now we're trying to figure out if we can reuse the switch that's on here, the brake switch. And I was actually just, they did send one that's a pressurized switch instead of one that like clicks it down here. Um, so we can use that, that's an option. I'm, we're not sure if we have to or not. Um, I was talking to Corey about the fact that like that's basically the little switch there, that this little, this dinky little switch is like what activates your rear brake lights, it which is. is basically like deciding whether or not you get rear-ended on the road. And it's just like, it blows my mind that that's the best we can come up with. Like, we have cars that drive themselves and they're like electric. You can watch movies and shit and it'll drive for you. And on a motorcycle, we have a little dinky brake switch to activate your brake light, which keeps you from getting rear-ended and murdered. I don't know, it just seems, maybe it's just me, but. Okay, so yeah, we're not gonna be able to reuse that because as you can see, there's a place for it to press in on the uh, stock rear sets. Yeah, that's how it kind of presses in there and that's what allows it to work. And as you can see on the Duca bike rear sets, there's no place for that. So that's why they send the uh, pressure switch. That's this guy, which is gonna attach up here instead. So that means we're gonna do away with this entire assembly. All right, so next thing we're actually doing is we're gonna, we gotta get this banjo bolt out of here since we're gonna use the pressure switch now instead. So in order to do that, we're gonna suck all of this uh, brake fluid out of there, which is fine, because that's pretty beat up. Uh, it sits next to the motor. Um, so he's gonna use his beautiful little uh, sucker here and suck it right on out because this, there's going to definitely be some uh, brake fluid that comes out of this so we're going to stuff some shit in here behind this and try to have as little brake fluid go anywhere as possible because it is high, highly corrosive all right so he's released the banjo bolt now he's going to start to pull this out hopefully we don't get a ton of fluid coming out since he sucked a lot of that out but obviously there's still going to be some in the line so yeah we put stuff all behind this here and he's got rags everywhere to Make sure it doesn't go all over the place. There we go. That's not too bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. It's not bad at all, mate. It's not bad at all. <laughs> okay, so in order to test the uh, harness and to figure out which uh, wires he needs to use and stuff, um, he jerry-rigged a little setup here. <laughs> Told me we look like a mad scientist. Um, and then, do you want to turn it on, yeah. Corey? So this is basically just to test, test the presser switch since we went away from the normal switch. So now if he uses the brake lever, we should get, boom, there you go. Now we got a rear brake. And the other thing is too, guys, I was joking around about it and everything. 99% of the time when you're using your rear brake, you should be using your front brake. So you're still gonna have, this is just a backup if you're only using your rear brake, which is mainly short, uh, um, low speed stuff around parking lots and stuff, I'll only use a rear brake. So it's not like you're only ever gonna be using this one. Um, and obviously this only has about 20 or 30% of your stopping power, so hopefully you're using your front brakes as well. But yeah, there you go, he figured out which, uh, basically the reason he did that is because there's only two wires on this one that they gave us. Um, there was only two on this one, but he's gonna use the harness, right? You're gonna use the yeah, stock harness. Yeah. And this one had three, so he was just trying to figure out which uh, two wires he needed to use. It's not focusing, there you go. So now he knows which wires he needs to use, which is what, the brown and the gray? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. So now he can splice into this one and we can have it nice and harnessed so that if you ever do need to unattach something to move something, you can still do it and then it looks completely factory. 
All right, so he sorted out this connection here, and the cool thing is um, he used a stock connector. So he put these wires together. Obviously, he's gonna cover this and all that heat shrink it, but if you ever do need to unplug this, which I don't see why you would, but you can, there's a, still a stock connector here. You can unplug it right from there, and this will be all covered and hidden, so you won't ever know that it even existed. Um, next thing we're doing is putting the uh, rear set together here, and it looks freaking awesome. And then uh, we did the same thing. We're keeping it at the stock positions, so it should be very, very similar to where it was stock, but of course you'll have a ton of, a ton of play if you have, ever wanna move around. But look at how sick that looks. That was the final piece of the puzzle over here. It looks so much better. Yeah, once that slid on there, it's gonna be nice and clean. So check this out, guys. Uh, what's your name? My name's Bert. Bert just rolled up on a Ducati 851, yeah. one of the original sport bikes from Ducati, or yeah. super bikes, I should say. You wanna start it up for us? You got it. Look at this. Damn, has a rumble to it. Yeah, rumble. No shit. Let's hear what it sounds like. showing us bud badass all right swap back over to the other side our bolts finally dried so he's attaching the uh, heel guard in carbon fiber look at that guys that is a I beauty didn't know you were doing red. bolts look badass yeah we did red for the accent piece I had no clue. you didn't know yeah Manny sent that over for us it looks awesome huh I really like it done that, so it's no nice we haven't have completely this. unique right yeah and it matches the bike really well Tina Wiener showed up we're gonna go for a lift. Really, really cool. Isn't that cool? He's like still sorting it. out the electron electrics. So well. Doesn't it? It looks freaking I'm awesome. Say, it looks great. Yeah, we're, just that. yeah, we're just gonna leave that. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that. Doesn't it look cool with the blue behind it, it does, too? Yeah. It like actually this part, this being red, really makes that come out back there. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Where's it from? Uh Duca Bike. Oh. Yeah, Duca Bike. And then the other thing he's doing when he uh, puts these on is he's using a step down drill bit there. What are you doing stepping down once yeah, basically? Just one. Yeah, just so the screws go through. Um, they were just not fitting through, so we're just gonna do that real quick. And we're also saving a little bit more weight. Always staring <laughs> to uh, drill in the carbon. You know? I know. Ooh. You're just waiting to hear that crack sound where everything just explodes. <laughs> All right, attaching the right side carbon heel guard and the bolts that he um, spray painted. Look at that. You'd never even know if you didn't watch the oh, video. Spray painted? Yeah, don't they look incredible? Because yeah, they had they had them reuse the uh, stock ones and they were silver. And Corey's like, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, so he spray painted them. Look at that, boys. All right, so now that we got the rear set where it needs to be, um, you put the brake fluid in, um, bled it, and then we're still gonna tidy this up in a second here. But guys, oh my God, look at how incredible that looks. I honestly like I didn't think it would make that much of a difference. But that looks amazing, and because we use Duca Bike for this, and for this, it's like a perfect match on the red, and it's just nice little accents. And then I just wanted to test the, the brake switch. There it is. Oh, it works, folks. I just can't get over how good that looks. That's incredible. All right, so he's finally shrink wrapping everything here before he tucks it all away. And he's using this crazy ass little, what is this thing? It's a little heat gun. Little heat gun? I've never seen that. Yeah. People always use like blow torches and then burn <laughs> it way too much. <laughs> Shit. So that's so cool, man. And it actually feels really good too. Oh, yeah. So we're getting a little chilly out it's here. Cold out here. <laughs> All right, so we just finished torquing everything down. I was uh, messing with the levers because I always like to see how they feel. I can tell you guys, like that is a solid fucking lever. Like compared to this, like I was just showing Corey, like look how streamlined that is. And then this is how it used to, <laughs> to, used to look. It was massive. There's such a difference, that is crazy. And then I got rid of that sticker, it's looking nice and clean right there. And then of course this side as well, just looks absolutely amazing. He tidied up, tidied up the wiring and everything like that. And man, that looks incredible. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you, Corey, for your hard work, brother. Appreciate it. Um, Manny from Moto Million, if you guys wanna get a set of these for your bike, um, they have them from all different types of bikes. They'll be linked in the description below. Santa Barbara Ducati for all your local Ducati needs. And uh, if you wanna be entered to win this bad boy or our V2 Panigale, patreon.com slash Custom. It's always the first link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next video.